So, what we have here is the wife, Kamala Harris, and her husband come to find out he's a Nazi Jew. And he married her in 2014. Does that sound funny to you? It's only 2023 now. She is his second wife. His first wife he was married to for 16 years and he has two children by her. So, is the marriage more of a business arrangement? Or is it more of an arrangement to get him into position to call the shots? Because I don't believe Kamala Harris is calling any shots. She's not a foundational black American. She's a first generation American. I don't believe that people who are first generation Americans should be able to hold public office like vice president and uh, serious secretary of state, things of that nature. And I also don't believe that if you have a dual citizenship to somewhere like Israel, you should be able to hold a high position as secretary of state. I believe all of that is a commitment of treason. And uh, that's what we have going on in the government right now. And this is why the government is running rogue. They opened up the borders wide open and they took all the money and gave it to the Jews in Israel and Ukraine. But it's a fact that this guy, Emhoff, Emhoff, he is a Jew. Now, I'd like to present this to you as it's available for everyone on Wikipedia. It says that the spouse of a president or vice president, Emhoff, emerged as one of Biden administration's most prominent faces in the fight against anti-Semitism after a November 2022 meeting between former President Donald Trump, Kanye West, and Nick Fuentes, the White House announced that Emhoff would lead a round table on anti-Semitism. So if you want to know where all of the media crackdowns are coming from, well, they're taking away people's freedom of speech on social media and everything is coming from Kamala Harris and Emhoff, he's in charge of this. And all of this is coming from them. And they're trying to take away all of the constitutional rights of the American citizen and turn the United States of America into a white supremacist, Nazi dominated country like Israel. Now you guys want to you guys want to hear some stuff. You can go right on uh Wikipedia and find this stuff. This is the answers to all of the questions that I heard a lot of bloggers and stuff that you know everybody's going crazy over all over the world. They want to know what's going on, where is it coming from? So, you know, this guy Emhoff. He's 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 a vice president's husband. I didn't know that a vice president's husband can have this kind of power. So this guy Emhoff was part of the White House team that launched the United States national strategy to counter anti-Semitism. The country's first combating anti-Semitism strategy on May 25th, 2023. Yeah, Emhoff, he did it. In the context of reactions to the 2023 israel Hamas war, M. Haas expressed concern about anti-Semitism in schools and on college campuses, meaning he doesn't want you to speak nothing about the atrocities and the murder and the genocide that's going on in Palestine. He doesn't even want you to talk about it. So they try to silence us. And hit you and say you're anti-Semitic. 
if you say that these white people came from Europe and they taking the land and murdering the people, then you're wrong. See, we got these devils in the, in the White House right now. You know? And now I'm exposing this guy, Emhoff. We got we to gotta, we gotta get these people out of here. You know? Uh, this, this is a bias. This is a bias in government. You know, he have highlighted the conflations of the Jewish identity with the actions of the Israeli government, leading to the increase of the hostility and threats against Jewish people. But they don't take into account the murder of the Muslims in the land that they are taking. And whether you say it's Israel or Jew, it's you, it's your people, it's you, it's your people, it's your group. And you can't separate the two. So if, 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 if Netanyahu's guilty, all of you are guilty of genocide. And all of you are guilty. And this is why they won't pass anything to stop the onslaught. 